unbelievable that the designer of Giza put the Euler identity formula here 4,000 years before Euler even thought of it. So the Great Pyramid is an Euler pyramid because if you take the slope angle B there and then you divide it by that top angle A and then you take half of that, you've got Euler even more precisely than the Great Pyramid is a Pi Pyramid. Is it an Euler Pyramid? And then Khafre, the second pyramid, is a Pi Pyramid. So normally you think of it as the Pythagorean Pyramid, the 3, 4, 5. But if you let the, the slope there be Phi squared, then the base is equal to Pi. Khafre is a Pi Pyramid. So E to the Pi, and then associated with that second pyramid, is the Sphinx, which is an imaginary being. Pi I, so you go to the Sphinx, there's the exponent, e to the Pi I, the Sphinx is an imaginary being. There's no animal that exists that has a pharaoh's head and a lion's body. It's imaginary. So yes, an imaginary being. So we've got e to the Pi I, and then next to Khafre, to the south, is his satellite pyramid, but it's never talked about. They talk about the nine pyramids that are here. The new restaurant's called the Nine Pyramids Lounge. But there's a satellite pyramid right there. It should be added plus e to the pi i plus Menkara is the same size as the Hemenidu template that I've done so many programs on, 200 royal cubits square, so it's unity, e to the pi i plus one, and then look at the second satellite of Menkara. It looks like an equal sign. So you got e to the pi i plus one equals zero, and where that logo just happens to be on the QuickBird satellite image, and where the zero is, is exactly where there was a pyramid at one time, a fourth pyramid. I've done programs about that. Matt from Ancient Architects has done programs about it. Unbelievable. There's zero. There's not a pyramid there now. E to the pi i plus one equals zero. Okay, Matt Simpson, here we are. This is where the GPS coordinates led me. This is the site of the fourth pyramid. There's plainly something here. There's plainly something here. There's plainly something here. There is plainly something here. Let's go over here because I saw evidences of stones along the way. You know, the, now what's that right there? What's that right there? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? All right, that's something there, but that looks like modern. Modern concrete. This, anyways, this is the point, and it's, you know, it's on a hill. This is, I told you, Matt, you'd have to have a permit or something to come here. I could be in trouble right now. My camel rider would not come with me. This is, uh, you know, the military zone or whatever. So if you're going to bring a tour group here, now look, it is right, look at this. This is right on line, didn't the GPS point? Put it, you know, right on line. I don't know what they built this for, but, you know, here we go. All right, so uh, I'm going to drop a GPS point, take a few pictures, and uh, Matt Simpson, you know, we take a few people here, you know, nobody's blowing the whistle on me yet, but I'm pretty visible. So this is where the fourth pyramid was. 4,000 years before Euler came up with this most beautiful formula that it includes the ad additive identity pro zero. It includes the multiplicative identity times. It's got exponentiation. It's got pi. It's got Euler. It's got the imaginary number. Unbelievable. It's on the plane of Giza.